Well, welcome back to Creek Fishing Adventures, and we are on a creek fishing adventure in South Texas. Uh, I'm over here fishing with Derek from Bass Factory. We just got done fishing. I just had an awesome day. Uh, one of my best days ever bass fishing. This is crazy. This water is crystal clear. And you know what I'm gonna go to? I'm gonna go to my go-to lure, Nico Helgramite. Will it work down here in Texas? This water is like as clear as you can get. I'm using the jet black one. And uh, I, I mean, I think it's gonna work. I, I, it works everywhere. I'm really interested to see if it'll, cause there's some big bass in here too. If the big ones will hit it, if the little ones will hit it. But this beautiful place, I'll try to show some scenery. If you haven't seen my other video, I just did a video. Probably just posted it, I don't know. I'm still filming here. And uh, we'll see how it goes, but let's get into the, get on the kayak and get down into the river. All right, I got this rigged up on a one 15th ounce chick head. We're waiting this water. It is the end of December, but we're at a, was it higher elevation or was it called high country? Or yeah, hill country. Hill, hill country here, so there's no gators. And this water is super clean. It's a little, it's just a little chilly. It actually feels pretty good. It's a windy day though. Um, but this, this, this fishing has been, been good so far. And I'm really excited to see what's going to do with this in the water. Look at all those little guys. There's so many little fish now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing sunfish everywhere. Oh, what are those? Those aren't bass. No, those are... No, they're not. They're, uh, there's something else. There's a whole bunch of them. There's, a, there's like, yeah, it's got, they got fins coming out. Dude, there's so many. Oh, there's a bass in front of me, though. Dude, there's so much more life down here than there was up there. Isn't that crazy? I'm seeing there's bass all up over here. Let's see if they'll hit this Helgramite. Or are we, I don't know if they're not going to hit it or. There he is. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Got him. Got him. He hit it. I had to twitch it a couple times. There's a couple more right up there. Cass? Uh, I can see. Okay, you see him? He's not bad. He's a little bigger than I thought he was. He hit that helicopter, no problem. I just twitched it in front of him and I saw him thump it. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Dude, I think we're going to get some right here. Looks like, is it deeper over there on that side? Is that, is that the channel over there? The other here is real shallow. Yeah. The whole area through here is kind of shallow. Yeah, there's one. Oh, good. Good fish. They are way more lively uh, this section than when we were upstream in the previous video. The water seems warmer. Oh, good, good, healthy largemouth. Had no trouble hitting that thing. Oh, that might be a big fish. Or he's stuck in the grass. Oh, what's a good fish? Ah, oh, Chris spicy me. It's been a minute since so I got a bite. Oh, this guy inhaled it. Wow. You think he wanted that thing? About a one pound largemouth. He just took that thing. Man, he's a pretty fish. This is a good fish. This is a good one. Oh my goodness. This is a good one. Oh, 
Come on, come on. Woo! A beast. Yes. Oh my. Just like we've been showing, doing up here in the end of a pool. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Look at that guy. Three pounds, four ounces. Well, I guess that hugger mite will catch some fish. This guy's just over three pounds. Big mouth on him. Beautiful, beautiful large mouth. He was up here shallow. He just picked it up and started swimming with it. Oh man. Alright. Let's let this guy go. Man, what a beautiful place out here. Dude, I'm loving it out here in South Texas. <laughs> We're trying to find the, where the water flows. It's so spread out, but check out this view and the lighting. Oh my goodness, look at those hills. Oh, uh, looks like I'm in a Western movie. That's so cool. Oh, okay, that's it. First cast in there. This is the first time the fish have been at the head of the pool. I know. There's one. Good one. A little largey. I'm not sure where he was going. Got him. Oh, no, no. What? Yeah. It ain't a big one. My line was tangled up. I saw a big old fish just swimming through. Ow! Hook me. There's one. There's some fish over here for sure. Oh, what? Holy cow! Big old red ear. Giant red ear. Look at that shell cracker. Slab. Oh, come on! Thought I had one. Maybe it was me drifting. Yeah, there is one. Feels like a pretty good fish. Nice. Dude, this little spot was loaded with fish. Nice, they're skinny. These guys need to fatten up a little bit. But they're fun to catch. Oh, I just cast it and spooked off a big old fish. I've, I've seen a couple huge ones. I don't know if it's the same one. Just kind of cruising around. Gotcha. let that thing sink out there you get all these little skinny guys I've seen I've seen a few big ones there's a few big ones out there but had that sun's going down and we're losing time for sure we 
Well, here's the river we've been coming down and then it turns into not a river. So it goes underground. So this is probably gonna wrap it up for us. Anyways, we're gonna still have to drag our kayaks a little ways, but man, it looks, looks awesome out here with the sun going down and everything. It's been just a fun day.